morning day everyone welcome back to act mathematics class 12th in this uh, chapter 1 is first in class 12th for chapter 1 is relations and functions let's see what is the important quick revision in this chapter relations and functions see first one is first relation is, is transitive there are the, so many relations are there first one is uh, transitive relation relation are defined on a set a is said to be transitive is said to be transitive. So, what is the condition? If A comma B belongs to R, B comma C belongs to R, that implies A comma C belongs to R. For R, A, B, C belongs to in A. So, here A, B, C are elements in the set A. So, if A comma B, B comma C belongs to R, then finally the first element, third element also, that pair also belongs to in R. For R, A, B, C belongs to in A. This is the transitive relation and equivalence relation. A relation defined on a set A is said to be equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. If it is reflexive, <laughs> symmetric and transitive, then the relation is said to be equivalence relation. Equivalence class of an element means let R be an equivalence relation of this set A, then equivalence class of A belongs to A is closed bracket A equal to set of b belongs to a b comma a belongs to in r one one function if a a to b is said to be one one if distant elements in a have distant images in b that is for all x1 comma x2 belongs to a such that x1 is not equal to x2 that implies f of x1 is not equal to f of x2 or for all x1 comma x2 belongs to a such that f of x1 equal to f of x2 that implies x1 equal to x2 so this is the one one function and one function is called also injective function okay, okay these are the important relations types of relations and onto function onto function and the name is subject to a function f from a to b is said to be onto function if r f equal to b that is for all a b belongs to capital b there exist a small a belongs to capital a such that f of a equal to b Next one is bijective function, a function which is both injective and subjective is called the bijective function. And next one is composition of two functions. If a, f from a to b, g from b to c are two functions, then composition of uh, f and g denoted by g circle f is a function from a to c is given by g circle f of x equal to g of f of x for all x belongs to a. Clearly, G circle F is defined if range of F is a subset of domain of G. Similarly, F circle G can be defined. So, these are the composition of two functions. Next one is, next function is invertible function. A function F from X to Y is invertible if it is bijective. to, if F from X to Y is bijective to function, then function G from Y to X is said to be inverse of F. If F circle G equal to I Y and G circle F equal to I X, where I X and R, I Y are identity functions. Identity functions. Next, inverse of F is denoted by F inverse. F inverse does not mean 1 by F. Let A and B two non-empty set and uh, n of A equal to P and n of B equal to Q. Then number of functions from A to B equal to q power p number of 1 1 functions from a to b equal to q p q p p less than or equal to q here equal to 0 p greater than e q number of on to function from a to b equal to sigma r equal to 1 to q minus 1 whole power q minus r q c r r power p where p greater than or equal to q Number of bijective functions from A to B is P factorial P equal to Q, 0 P is not equal to Q. Next, binary operation, a binary operation start defined on this set A is a function from A to A cross A to A. A comma B, star A comma B is denoted by A star B. Number of binary operation on this set having n elements equal to n in the power of n square. Okay, next binary operation defined on a set A is said to be competitive if A star B equal to B star A for all A comma B belongs to in A. 
Boundary operation start define on this at A is called associate to if what is the property A star B star C equal to A star B star C for all A B C belongs to any A. If star B boundary operation on A then an element E belongs to A if exist is set to be a identity element if A star E equal to E star A equal to A for all small A belongs to in capital A. An entity element is unique. If star is binary operation on set A, then an element B belongs to A. If exist, is said to be inverse of A, belongs to in capital A. If A star B equal to B star A equal to E, inverse of an element if it is exist is unique. <laughs>